am on my way to the orthodontist. Um, I am doing a spend the day with me, which, which was suggested by one of. Oh, sorry. Come on. All right. I am doing a vlog this week. And um, I had reached out to you guys and asked you guys, hey, you know, comment what type of content you guys want to see. And um, a lot of you said, spend the day with me. Even though I think my vlogs do not do well, y'all. But I am on my way to the orthodontist. Um, everything I have on today is thrifted. Um, come on, camera. I'm on this bumpy ass road. Um, everything I have on today is thrifted. I am going thrifting today, so you guys can come through there with me. Yay. But I wanted to get some content in. So, I'm, I wanted to look cute while I was thrifting. Because you see I look a whole hot mess. But, you know, I wanted to start doing some, you know, cute thrifting. So, I will show you my outfit later. But come to the orthodontist with me. Oh, and I want to do like a red lip. But since I'm going to the orthodontist, I don't want to stress her out <laughs> with trying to get my makeup and my lipstick, all that on my teeth. So I just put on a regular, you know, I line my lips with the brown liner and just put some Fenty um, lip gloss on and called it a day. But I am, once I finish with the orthodontist, I'm going to pop on a red lip and we're going to go thrifting. Okay, all right, y'all. dolls orthodontist is done so um i was going to go over to um new, Jer uh, new jersey but um see i got my trays and they I put some new ones in and i got 10 more because i still have a little bit of spacing or whatever so here's my red lip That was dying of the sea. Look at that. Ow. Whole outfit just. Oh, and where my earring at? Oh, no. My earring. Oh, no. Where's my earring at? How did it go? This is her earring. Damn. Jaina. Now. I left out the house this morning. My husband was looking like, where you going? Like, I'm going somewhere like I got a date or something. Bye, boy. You don't even take me out on no dates. You used to. But I'm just getting dressed to do content. Yes. Look at that. Ow, ow. That's what I'm talking about. That, I told you that red lip was going to pop. So... I was going to go to New Jersey because um, I heard of this dope um, Salvation Army out in Turnersville that be having some really dope finds. But I don't have no cash, y'all. <laughs> I only got some money on my Apple Pay. I just gave my dentist all of my damn cash. So now I just had like money on my Apple Pay, money on my um, cash app, and whatever I have in my account. And I could go to like the ATM, get the money out, cause it's a five dollar charge. And I did bring. I'm gonna. Wear, <laughs> I'm gonna wear my red heels. So I'm ready. I'm ready for this content. Okay. Um. Yeah. I was going to go over there, but I don't have no money to get home <laughs> on the tolls. The tolls is like five dollars. So I'm like. I can't even find no no ones, no nothing up in here. I can't. So that means we're gonna have to stay in the PA, the state of PA. I got a tank full of gas. I would go to that Walmart um that I love so much, but I don't feel like that. Um, I really wanted to hit that 
I really wanted to hit over Jersey because that's where it's, it's hitting it. But I don't have five dollars like anywhere. I don't even have no company with me so they can pay the money. All right. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll see where we are in the process. So when we get there, I guess y'all just gonna have to see, okay? So, stay tuned. Wait a minute, y'all. I think I got a solution. I'm gonna call my mom, see what she doing. Because if I take her with me, then she probably got $5. Okay? Let's see. I call her earlier, she answered her phone. What the hell is she doing? Hello? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. What the hell is she doing? Unless she went somewhere and she forgot her phone. And that means she went somewhere without me. So, dolls, I did end up going to New Jersey. I actually came up with a solution. Um, I called my daughter, and she's like, Mom, just go to the ATM and get the money out. Duh. So, that's what I did. So, we're headed to Jersey. So, we have arrived. But funny thing is, I was so determined to come to this Salvation Army and child, I already been here before. Uh, go figure. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what is this, child? Oh my God, I'm in love. some flyers made and drop them flyers in people's door. I am. <laughs> Thank you. I am his. And it's white. Don't say him. So when I go thrifting, guys, I always go straight to the men's department. They have the gems. Did I just find me a crocodile Hermes bag? I think I did. You know, I'm a fedora girl, so I had to pick her up. She's super cute, so me. Now 
look at this. This look like a little gorilla fur. But she is cute. Gotta try her on. Yeah, I know I've been on the look for a leather trench. This one was $13.99. Um, I really wasn't feeling her like enough to buy her, but it was super cute though. Okay, you are up for twenty dollars. It's in really good condition, but I don't know if I'm really to spend that. And it doesn't look like um, it's my size anyway. But this store is amazing. Number one, number two, I love the way they color coordinate. Everything was nice and neat. And I will be back here again because they had a lot of good finds. Now, yes, this was a dress. She would be all mine. But I guess it's like a dance competition, but this is cute to me. Now, child, somebody then dropped off their whole African attire. Like, I've been seeing it all throughout the store. Hmm, oh, my God. Now this is a definitely holiday blazer. Can't you see it? At a holiday party with some little tuxedo pants. Yes, she is cute and she was like $8.99. Well worth it. Now she is cute. I was loving everything about her but the price. So I had to put her back. Okay. Yes, he is cute, but I'm gonna have to put her back because I ain't really pulling the price. Now I'm over in home decor. I'm really trying to thrift some of my items for my new home, but so far I have not been coming up with anything interesting.
Now, ooh, these are so cute. Love the color. But, child, it was not my size. I gag when I seen these, the color, they were so sexy. But of course they were not in my size, so I had to put them back. So now I'm home, a day of shopping. Um, I got comfortable. I still haven't learned all the lighting system, blah, blah, blah. So um, I changed out of my clothes. So now I'm going to wash this makeup out of my, off my face. Um, I'm just in my bathroom, about to. Hey y'all. I'm about to wash this stuff off my face. And wind down for the day. So y'all want to see what I use. I know you're like, what do you, what do you? Oh, well, first of all, I use this makeup remover washcloth. I don't know where I got them from, to be honest. I don't remember. Um, but it washes, it takes, I mean, it takes everything. Look at that. Uh, and actually you're supposed to just use it with water and then take it off and then cleanse your, cleanse your face but of course I gotta do stuff the way Karen wants to do it but it takes off everything like I love it I don't know if I have to I don't know if I'll probably have to do a voiceover or whatever. I don't know. I'm gonna put my braces back in. Sorry. Then my Polish toys. Um, this is the clear because I do have some hormonal acne on my chin. That is due to menopause. <laughs> um, and then I actually use this for moisturizing stuff. But that's my daytime routine. Um, my banana eye brightening cream. I do end my day with that as well. 
And then I have this stuff called Good Molecules that um, Sephora sent me. And I actually, it's like a nighttime, it says it's ultra hydrating facial oil. I do use this as my nighttime serum. Um, it makes my skin all clean and I don't know, just gives me a lot of moisture. And a deep cleanse. You know, after wearing makeup all day, you want to, you know, you want to get all that makeup off your face. I know I do. And look, I still haven't found my earring. I want to look in the, I don't know. I feel like if it fell in the bed, my husband would have like, have told me that my earring fell. I don't know where the hell that thing fell at. But they're not real. My other um, earrings that are actually diamonds. I didn't lose it. I actually know where one is. But I don't know where the other one is. But I know that I moved. So. And this is just the clear... So the first one, I know you're gonna, because I know you're gonna be like, oh, what's that is? The first one is called the anti redness exfoliation solution. So you cleanse first, then you use this. This is number two. It has a step number two. This is Paula's Choice. I'm sorry. This is Paula's Choice. This is the clear. Like I told you, I do suffer from menopausal acne. So um, this is the anti redness exfoliation solution which helps me with my acne. And then I'm gonna go in with the daily skin cleansing treatment. Now I do use this for my morning routine or my daytime routine as well. So I am using this twice a day. Um, I, sometimes I use the whole, cause they sent me like a whole kit from Good Molecules Sephora. Um, so I haven't used that in a while, but I feel like I didn't want to start using it. So I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I didn't want to use it and not use it and get off my routine. So I'm just putting the eye cream. I told you I do suffer from, if you watch my makeup video, you will see that I suffer from big like really um dark circles but since i've been using this um it's been brightening it up and i don't really see it too much so it has been helping so with this i just mm. It is gonna make my face shiny, but I feel like by the time I wake up in the morning, it's absolutely gone. So that means my face sucked up all the moisture. And then I'm gonna return this to its place. I still gotta rub that some more. Oh. And then put on my, sorry, it's something in my eye. Probably got some solution or something in my eye. I have like the bushiest, bushiest eyebrows, y'all. Yeah, I don't know what I can do to make it not be bushy. Um, so I'm gonna trash this. Me up here. So like the only thing I love being married to my husband because he's like a neat freak, and it makes me be. <laughs> it makes me more responsible. Like it really does. So 
It makes me clean up behind myself, make sure everything is clean, put back in its place, um, put all the stuff in its place, and then I'm going to go into my room. Now, this is my content room. I don't know. It's not really all together. It's like messy. And I told you, I really, it's like something I put together. <laughs> but um, it's a little bit. I ain't ready to show it yet. So y'all see a little bit of it. Just a little bit. Um, I don't want to show you what's over there. It's a mess. And then you see all my clothes and stuff are right here. My shoes. I got shoes over there. But I ain't want to show y'all this mess over here. Because I still have to get like a closet system that I want to get like across here. But see that? That's what I'm saying. I didn't see that right there. I don't put that together all crazy. <laughs> My husband hates mediocrity. So I asked him to take him this weekend to go pick up um, the closet system. Um, because I did try to order it online and it actually costs more online and it's cheaper in the store. So I'm going to ask him. Um, to take me with his truck to get the um, closet system. And then he's going to put it together. Okay. Okay. So I'm putting all my things back. And then I'm going to trash this. And I think that's going to be all for me, guys. Oh, damn. I was supposed to do this. <clears throat> Y'all, I was supposed to do two videos today. Because that day's my, I had this bra company. Um... And then I have this Amazon. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Bye, Amazon. Bye.